Racing and the Optima Ultimate Street Car Invitational. This is bad. You gotta check it out. You can go online. Okay, all of them. Make no mistake. These are the bad boys. These are the bad boys of the show. We let them go early so they can get going. So enjoy them. Check them out. All different kinds of cars. And they run it. Look at them this year. Oh, sure. Sure. Now, here's the deal with that one. Came. Here they come. A lot of little late. So thank you, Optima. They do a great, great job. And they are attracting, obviously, in, in the drivers that are in this competition. Wow. I mean, these are these are professional drivers. Those are better than professional cars, and they really exemplify our industry. Oh yeah. Trans Am's running strong, okay? Burt, Burt, uh, there you go, look at Looks like a 1979. Burt Reynolds looking for you. Look at that. Yeah, uh, she won the thing last year. I, I believe it. all these vehicles are on uh, two or three days of competition. Gonna have a great time. I think all those results are available in life with high performance parts. You need to keep cool, keep flowing. So let's keep this deal going. Hey, what's your name, man? Is this your first time in the challenge? Have a good time, baby. All right, here we go. We're keeping it going. Keeping it fluid. I don't know about you, but I'd like to be in any one of them. My buddy had a grabber. Oh, it was no pacer. All those, all those gremlins and pacers, even those cars are cool now. That's what they get to do. They get anything cool. We had the guy who built the Batmobile was with us, George Barris. Okay, we put him in the SEMA Hall of Fame. And icons like Chris Kirsty talked about. Iski Iskinarian, first president of this big SEMA show. Or the SEMA organization, which included the show. They're all here enjoying it. That's so nice to see. To see what they started way back then, 50 years later. All this magic happening. It's happening right here only, only at the SEMA cruise. All right, now some of these trucks are coming. You know, I had some fun in the sport truck days working with Peter and all these cool trucks were just coming down. In fact, Tim Sasanian, uh, they didn't go up, they went down and we put the Corvette roll pans on them and we hit the head, the, the trunk latches and we shaved the door handles and he developed cool mirrors and they came in and sport truck magazine and trucking and all that trend happened and the, man, we thought we were bad with 17 inch wheels, right? No, now they have 24 inch wheels and look at them, up to the 70s, early 70s, these are bad trucks, yeah, ho, 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 How's the show for you, good? How people like this truck? Love it. What? Maybe love having you here. Have a good time, whoa, woo! See? Huh? What is this? I know we're going to see you on Low Rider or some of those other awesome shorts in the Two door, short box. Yeah, baby. No long bed, extended cab, none of those step sides working here. We can make those cool, anyways. Now we go. Low and slow. Look at them. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, yeah. Look at you. Look at you. Where's your credential? They haven't thrown you out yet? All right. What a great gig you have. Look at you, man. I know you can buy whatever you want, go wherever you want. Look at you though. Thank you for coming. You did a great job with it. And it's for sale. Call me. All right. And there we go. Check this man out. This is what's happening in the industry right now. It's been happening. These guys know what they're doing. Can you give these guys a good period? He'll make that combo fly for an Boy, these things came out out of nowhere. Like the Mustangs are everywhere, those cars. Nissan, loving them all. Mr. Nishi. And then we got my player from Motown. What's up, man? Huh? What's happening in the Motor City? Have a good time? What's up, Mike? Hey, where you off to now? Going back home? Nah, I'm cruising around. Cruising around, that's right, too. Cruising. 
That's what we offer. We are eating up those Porsches, aren't you? On the highway, huh? Got all that bad AFE intake going. Look at you with the car everybody wants. Huh? The Camaro 69. Oh yeah. These off-road guys, man. What they do? Hell. What they do? Man, the off-road industry. If you if you saw Gary. Like him. No, the off-road guys don't do anything. They go in the house like one of these. Some guys are bringing it back. And again, that tells me that our industry is strong. They're making it happen. It's probably one of those big trucks not so long ago. Just like Steve McCruz, guys. Hell, he got this job three years ago. He ain't let it down yet. What's your name, dude? Victor. Victor, loving you, baby. Good job. Yeah, man. Have a good time? All right, you're back next time. You're seeing the news. All the sponsors that are here. How about McGuire's and Car Crazy? Yep. You'll see all the stuff that's happening here at McGuire's. Dr. Barry. Still blind from that watch. Watching what he's doing. Great show. Women love him. They're all 60. But they love him. I love the dude. How about 3M? And Nagda Flow. Okay? Tom Myron X. You didn't call last night, you were at one of those Sony parties. Okay? Because they're magic. It's magic not at the show, but man, it's funny to see the show. Yep, the parties, Dub Magazine. Yep. You guys heard about the Dub Party, right? Everybody been in the WTW booth? Yeah. Around the show supporting our industry. Talked about West Coast Customs. All those guys, those drifters, Ken Block, those guys are sick what they're doing out there. Thank you. Still getting all those guys out there. Showcasing those four quads. Yeah, it's happening in Mexico, right? It's not just Vegas, it's everywhere. So be a part of it too. All right, where's our DJ? Hey Joe, everyone having a good time? They're having a good time, Sheldon. How about you, man? You did a great job getting all this stuff in motion. Fun parking those feature vehicles, huh? Oh yeah, best job in the world. Can't beat it. All right, so you remember when there was just these couple parking lots full? We got cars parked behind the Renaissance this year. How was that? We put cars everywhere we could possibly fit them. Can't beat this show. We put cars everywhere we possibly could. We put exhibit space every place we could. Man, we put magic everywhere we could. And fun. Now, I'm not sure, but this car has been parked right in the middle of everything. Like, I don't know. Something's happening there, Tom. Something's happening in that blue car. See? Hey, Lou! What do you think you are, a Big Shot TV guy? See, the Big Shot TV guy from O.C.? I'm like, you know, well, that's the way I'm going. You gotta find the beauty in that, and then you gotta find the beauty in that. Yeah, so those are true like here everywhere. That's what I'm saying. Everywhere I go, thank you. Let's see, Brooks. We're right here. How you doing? Yeah, you're doing the slow crawl. We're working the carbon fiber, low profile power panels. Huh? Yep. Look at you. Have a good time. Yeah, working a little bit smooth. I like that car. They're all coming out good. Look at this guy. Where did he come from? Like, how do you wake up one day and end up with this? Huh? Look at you. You're damn right. Nice job, baby. Love it. Love it. Yep. <laughs> Local Motors. These guys came out of nowhere, right? Wow. I got a press release from these people. Yeah, we're with uh, Local Motors, and uh, we're building cars that... Uh, what? What kind of cars? Doing what? What kind of engines? Your own everything. You build everything. Yeah, we build the machines to build the cars to build the pieces, and they go a million miles an hour, and they're they're bad. Thank you for coming. What we're going to do? Rallyfighter.com for more on that. There's these big trucks we're talking about. And it ain't easy making these big trucks move. You know, you need really good parts. And there's a lot of guys building them in there. SCP for one, making these big trucks move better and move quicker.
let the DJ bring it back. Tell him play that shit again. Tell him that you like that, like that. Oh, Trey, I ain't got a two reason to be here, man. Hey, you know, maybe you guys have been tuned in to some of the vehicles that still uh, you know, they all want their own what we got now. The thing get like it does now. Everything's better now. Are you sure it's what he's doing is capturing all this stuff for uh, HotRod.com and their Facebook page, you know? The cool thing is afterwards, go have a lemonade, all right? And uh, go online, Google FEMA Show 2013 Cruise. I think we had seven or 800,000 hits on YouTube. So if you miss something, or you want to mute me out, check it out online. We rolled for about an hour last year. This is the first time we're gonna roll into the dark. I'll get some high performance flashlights. Come on, sit in uh, I bet somebody comes up with one. One of these off road guys will come up with some flashlights. I told you we we're gonna need some more chairs. I told you we we're gonna need a few more. It's down the street, baby. I'm at Piero now. Guys, waiting for the magic. Hey, everybody on Paradise and Convention Center, okay, let's hear you. All right? Thank you for being here, man. I'm going to bring some magic up here. We're trying to get those girls with the free t-shirts to come up here. I hope you were inside, okay? And if you want, if you want to be, call me. And I'll be there for you. Get you in there, help you find that. How you can be a part of this industry. How you can get inside that show floor. See those cars and maybe work with some of those people. Get a good deal on some of those expensive wheels that we all want. But thank you for coming, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, you. Yep, hey, you. The trucks. See? I told you they were coming. I like the house. DD Diesel. Fueling this industry. Great products are coming out of DD Diesel. Thank you for being a part of this TV show. Rolling Big Power. Another new energy drink. There's enough energy drinks and there's enough the car models that are out there. There's so many of them. So I've got down in our hot water in the section. Some beautiful street rides. 50 miles coming out of there. Yeah, the guys building those street rides. They're retired, you know. They've done their deal. They're on the car. They're the ones having a good time, right? Wait till they come rolling out. <laughs> How about that uh, George Fortee? Over that 69 car, you didn't see it, you were late. But, uh, but I did, 69 Cyclone. Million dollar car. A nice car. Mother Shine Award winning car. How about you, player? Come on. We're stalled. Let's find out what's going on. How was this season show? Not bad. Not bad, that's all you got for me? How about this truck? You having fun? Oh, shit. Tell me a little bit about it. Uh, Good job, man. Enjoy the drive, baby. Yeah. Hey, nice job. Uh, really good reaction to this fight. There's so many people here. Uh, tell them a little bit about it. The crowd is love the bike. You drove the bike from where? Great job. What ingenuity. How much fun. I bet you didn't see that I had a rock in here last year. I swear. They're coming. Only here to see the crew. How about GFG Wheels? That's the division of Giovanna Wheels. We're talking about what they're doing on a watch. They're not buying wheels. It's like a watch for your cars. People, brings a big show here. Millions of dollars of cars. Great display. That's just before time. Check this out. 
Okay, we all know what's happening with the uh, off-road racing, right? NBC's running it. Sport. The off-road racing will be coming out strong. We have six races, I think, three in Mexico, uh, three on the West Coast. So our off-road racing is off the hook. Uh, Plus three, four-wheel off-road. Our uh, Jim Ryan and Home Group is Dirt Sports. The Willie T got that off-road racing segment. So you get a chance to see it, uh, hopefully where you're living, definitely on TV. So if you're into off-road racing, man, really a big part, a vital part of what's happening in our industry. Stuck around longer than I thought. What's going on, man? A lot of cars here. A lot of those low-riding Chrysler cars. A lot of those import vehicles. A lot of these European models. Everybody's got some game. Everybody's bringing it. Sport compact. Truck. Racing in performance. Uh-oh. Yep. Leading goal. I missed those. I can see you here. Is that right? There we go. I've been holding these sponsor pages for an hour now. They're just so cool. Helping us have fun. There you go. Nice job. That car got a lot of love. Right? There you go. Yes. Hey, a young number. I saw you in crazy mode. All right, look at all these guys. Hold a second, guys. Come on, one more. Yep. Sure. Yeah, that scared me because I heard that last night, too. Oh, I, uh, you know, by now, the guys who led this group out to the streetcar challenge vehicles are probably halfway to wherever they're going. They're on their way to a good time. I think all these guys are on their way to a good time too. I wish I was going with them. Okay? What's happening, guys? Those guys are everywhere. Everywhere. Great. You need lights for your vehicle or your truck. Okay? You want to take a look at some of the hottest cars on the import scene that they showcase in their special little area at the show? Man, you need a bag to collect all the stuff that you get here. And you need some good cars by some cool people. Spider Automotive, right? And thank you. Who else? Yeah, girl. Uh-huh. Thank you for coming. Yep. I'm a, the keys of this one, so I live in a villa for the rest of my life. There you go. Third toe. This vehicle was the winner. Is that Peter? You put that deal together. Yo, yeah, this is the car tallers winner. We had all the car tallers from around the world enter into the UPS contest. This is our winner for UPS. Give a little shout out. My name is Jeff Greenstone. I have a shop in North Carolina called Cutler Specialties. This is an all handmade aluminum body. Um, it's a custom hot rod that is 100% handmade. Uh, all right, all right. Uh, all right. All right. All right. All right. All Congratulations on the uh, UPS parts hauler uh, Dream Cruise to Vegas. I, this is a really uh, generating a lot of buzz and uh, that's an exciting trip to share this year. Hey, Peter, that's an understatement. UPS had contest asking to find out, hey, who had the, who had the coolest shop truck, right? And we we're expecting to get some brown UPS like deal. This is what this guy uses for a shop truck, right? Uh, he won the contest for all the right reasons. He's helping out. Pretty yes. Thanks for making this happen. Let's stop it up and let our truck. Hey, how about this guy? Oh, oh yeah! Stop up here! Get up here, fine truck! You know what's going to happen just a little bit. We're going to have a little fun. Might as well let fine truck do it. He knows you know about. 
This is our modern day version of that dude from Jackass. Uh, this guy's blasted to go to the Optimus Streetcar Challenge. He's going to have a tough time. All right. I think Nitrous Express is still in the air. Thank you, Mom. How about it? Come on now. There ain't nobody here like you are. You're the one sending the videos home. Well, before Farm Truck stole the attention and captured a clip I'm sure you're going to see in the rest of this free show video teaser on his network, whatever it is, Velocity, hopefully. He gave us a little dose of fun there, and he also gave us a little bit of pause to recognize eBay Motors. And before we tell you all the great things they're doing, I got a really important guy tapping me on the shoulder, and I was told to punch them when that happened, but I'm not going to because it's really important. Russell? Um, so eBay Motors is another one of our sponsors. Looking for parts of my 51 on eBay and I lost a damn bit. But I'm not gonna give up because I love eBay orders most of the time. Looks like I get what I thought. Okay, what I thought it had. But they were here. They had awesome things going, helping out all the folks in there doing business. Uh, check out eBay orders like you need to know, right? Like they haven't been there, right? Uh, thank you, eBay, for what you're doing, what you're doing for our industry. And the fact that they're also having some fun. They're doing pretty good last time I checked. You know? they're, they're working with the magazines, eBay Motors. They're developing garages for people and young kids so that they can get their hands and building vehicles to their preference. Whether it's a young guy who's building his tuner cars, or whether it's building some off-road vehicles. eBay Motors helps everybody. They're helping us all. Okay? So you thought, no, everybody's running. Everybody's running those Cadillacs. I have some big job. TV show producers like, what the fuck you going on? I got a truck. I got a truck. <laughs> All right? Everybody has a truck. Everybody's got a cool car. Everybody wants one, right? And they're all here too. Yeah, this one rolled up. This one rolled up and the engine was painted green. Alright? And they did something with a paintbrush on the front. Red. And I love it. I don't even know what the hell it was when I saw it. Because I couldn't get to see it. Dude, hold on now, man. You stole the show, didn't you?
bigger and bigger. And I gotta say, I love all the people, the fans of Bowling Owens. I'm so glad that we are back. We're filming again on Velocity Channel. Uh, we, we aired the first half of the second season, I believe in March, and then filming now. And if you know anybody that you want to overhaul, please submit to Overhaul on TV, and hopefully we'll get to your best friend's car. Chip, uh, again, a warm thank you from SEMA. Everyone knows what you're doing out there. Everyone knows what you're doing out there. Have a great time. I'm sure you are. Say hi to some of these guys if you can. If I get you to come by, maybe say hi or hello to somebody. The Chip Boost is a leader of our industry. Does a great job. Tune in to Velocity. Thank you, Chip. Have a safe time at all, baby. Thank you very much. I also want to say thank you to that, my license and major guitar player ever right here, Kenny. You want to say hello to him? Yeah, man, I'm just glad to be here at SEMA. I've been coming for about seven months months here you're at, and the best aftermarket parts that anybody could buy. So I'm glad to be here. Thanks, everybody. Have a good time. Where are you playing tomorrow night? Oh, yeah, we're doing two shows. So if any of you guys are hanging out uh, for a day or two, we're going to be over at the Orleans. You like blues, you like rock and roll, you like great guitar, come see us. We're at the Orleans Saturday and Sunday night. Thanks. Why don't you tell us who you're playing with now? Oh, we got a new band uh, called The Rides. Uh, it's a little nod to our love for the car culture. And it's myself and Steven Stills from Crosby, Stills & Nash. So if you haven't heard the new record, it's called Can't Get Enough. You can get it on all, at all retail outlets, and uh, it's pretty badass. Well, that's what team is all about, because we can't get enough. Chip Boost, everybody. Kenny Wayne Shepherd, everybody. Anybody got right, Kenny? Me too. All right, thank you so much. Wow, what an experience, everybody. Have a good time, everybody. We're live, SEMA show, SEMA show, SEMA Cruise 2013. Chip Boost in the house on Velocity, overhauling. Doing a great job, having fun. Great job with the Cena show, John. Yeah, baby. Cena news of uh, all of our staff. We saw Carl, we saw all the other folks. You know that the Cena show coverage is going to be in Cena news. Yeah, they have two or three issues. Look at all those. They usually stick some insert in there about the show that you have a chance to keep. Check out their website, cenashow.com. I go to YouTube and I check out Cena Cruise. And not only do we have our video, they start to come back. Everybody else is close there. Yeah, theirs are better than ours. Folks. Speaking of, where's that guy with that GoPro? I got GoPro. Thank you again, GoPro, for what you're doing. Where's my Yankee guy? Yeah, there he is. Keep an eye on him. You get up to $2. Keep an eye on him. So we're going to catch you this on my GoPro. Alright, meantime, before anybody knows, I got my own little gig on the side, I'm gonna try to slide it over. Joe's mini bike reunion. I have mini bikes where it all happens. Well, we all started with mini bikes, huh? Did you see the Hot Rod Magazine mini bike? Hot Rod Magazine had a mini bike. Old school, they go like 80 miles an hour. Mini bikes is where it all started. That's where you learn how to burn your hand on the right? We had a power sports section here. I don't know if you guys saw the power sports section. ATVs, UTVs. These guys got it going nuts. They got these little mini bikes going 100 miles an hour. Honda Grom, the new Honda Grom, replacing that ruckus. Wow, looks like a mini Ducati. Already exhaust being made, wheels, suspension. Just like the cars, right? Just like the cars, power sports is happening. Right. So we had some fun. Chip Foos had a top of a mini bike, he built. Even Chip Foos got the bug. 
Yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, I told you, look, I told you, we're in the night. We're in the night. We're in the night, isn't that cool? Yep. Now we need one of those cars with the big torches. Hey. Yep. Quick, somebody go. What's that old expression? Nothing like napalm in the morning. What? Yeah, you get in line to get her. So we're gonna need more chairs, Pete. See the crews. Yep. Oh, look at you, baby blue. All right, so you're building the car. God knows what you had to do to get this damn thing. And then you say, yeah, I got this car now. Call 40 hours, spend about 10 grand. And I gotta get, uh, well, how I gotta get sunglasses to match this damn car. What color do I paint this? You're gonna go black? You're gonna go gray? What are you gonna do with that Corvette you got? You say, yeah, I'm gonna go baby blue. Look at you. How you doing, baby blue? Good seeing the show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we feel you. I wish I was in that Yeah, the Corvette's rocking. Who saw all the Corvettes? All those Stingrays. Oh, who's trying to slide through here? Who's trying to slide in through here in their low Fort Guiana? See, the real guys, they get to drive these cars. Vehicles here, but you have them behind the Renaissance. So, so it still goes on. We're running out of space here, Vengeance Center. Dude, we took it all. There's more people building products in this industry. I don't know if it's going to stop. I mean, I don't know how to sell all these can chefs in wheels and tires. Tom's going to have all the stuff. Hey, watch the hair. Uh, right now, you can go to hotrod.com and check it out. So, certainly, that name may not ring a bell, but it's Hot Rod Magazine, man. It's Car Craft Magazine, it's Circle Craft Magazine. All the editors were here. Loving it. And they're each computer to do what they do to bring you all that action. We have tons of you at Network. I saw Chip Booth. You saw all of our friends from Velocity, all the new shows. Um, more GoPros, yep. I got all that connecting stuff too, I don't know what to use. So it'll go on. You'll get more. You'll get more. I think if you kept this show open for five more days, more and more people would stop because you can't get enough. No, they can't get enough. There you go, baby. They can't get enough to see the crew. Uh, later on tonight, you know what's going to happen. What'd you do, man? Yo, where were you guys today? Ah, uh, I was working. Oh. Yeah. How about you? You were Nah. Well, I, I guess so. Uh, what's that? Your story's going to be better than your buddy's stories tonight. You may even meet your wife because you're at the senior show. Your future wife. You start showing her the videos. How we doing? Chris? How about Chris? He's living the life, man. Being able to capture a lot of the excitement that our industry creates, having a good time. What were you, what's some of the projects you guys are working on? Well, we were shooting all the awards, the hottest truck, hottest uh, 4x4 SUV, hottest car, and we you know, more opportunities to be a part of the industry. Building cars, covering cars, you know. Anyways. So, oh, yeah, wait a minute. So this guy here, get over here, Mark Berman, the international liner. He got a call today and said, hey, uh, you want to want to ride in the Optimus Street Car Show? So I went to see him, or I tried to go see him to tell him to go. No, yes, so should I go? So I got you go. He tells me he's trying to find out about his new Corvette filter. So you owe me coffee, dude. Have a good time. Green filter in the house, Mark Berman. Thank you, man. Find out more at greenfilterusa.com. Get out of here. We don't understand this for so it's less to be because it's not the one real guy or the one filter guy. They're all here. They were all here. And you were the only one late, Thomas. And they'll probably have to this industry just like everybody else. Right? All right, man. Thank you, Nelson. I can imagine how many middle tires he goes through. No, I like that. Yeah. The truck. The 
such a big, big part of our industry. And they run the game, man. Awesome vehicle. Great time. This is an example. You can do anything with those. And anybody who's working at Juice Marketplace is having fun. And if you're in the business, yep. Yeah, baby. You know it's mini truck in old school. Yep. The Mikado. I thought that was the shots. I had a Chevy Rub. See? And I like this too. That big got an extended cab, he makes it work. Yep. And then, you know, you having fun? How about BMW? I saw a lot of 4 Series coming out. I don't know if you saw the new 4 Series. Hell, I was having the 3 Series. But they keep getting better. These big trucks, like I said, they were everywhere. And a big, big indicator of the vitality of our industry. Not to mention that it's fun to look at. I can't even get up one. This guy making two million dollars making matters for sure guys like me to get in one of those trucks. That's how easy it is to make success dramatic. Yellow and white. See me at night. Look at you. Camaro's Tom. Can't time enough of them, baby. What do we see? one of our younger senior, senior, at the same time, veterans working at Kiva. And he's like a dope, different guy, man. He looks good, he looks cool. He's happy to be here. And he's Kiva handling the cake in our life. Well, everybody, we've been enlisting folks in the C-Matching Network because we're protecting the hobby from unfair laws and regulations. Who's for that? Let's hear it. We're telling all 50 states how much we get. We care about all these bitchin' vehicles that you've been seeing out here this week. Understand that we want to drive them for this generation and every other generation to come. Go to SemaSan.com and get involved with the cause. It's absolutely to enjoy this for many years. Check that out. And I echo that yet. Okay, everybody? Uh, special, genuine. That wasn't a script. This guy's living it. He's making it happen. He's also getting married. He's getting married in a couple weeks, and I want you all to join me and wishing him the best. Kobe, congratulations. He's got a really cool wife. She fits you perfectly. You got a really cool car to drive home. And I want you to go see the love that guy. He did a great job. Good, good job. Peter. Peter's smiling. Mike Stad, he's smiling. Mike Stad's got some exciting programs going on. We're going to see him in the garage, okay? I love you. Check this out. SEMA's headquarters in Diamond Bar. If anybody's going to have a garage to check out cars and to test products and to give manufacturers a place to come and have some fun and develop their product and, and match it up, whether you're fitting wheels or brakes or any, any under the hood product, we now have a SEMA garage that is a home base for anybody who's within our community, members of our organization, and the guy behind it that's driving it is a guy who used to live it, Mike Spagnola. And he's had businesses in the industry. He's been an ongoing supporter of our industry. He has done everything, including getting run over by Colby in the SEMA Action Network. But Mike, tell them what's happening in the magic that you're creating in the SEMA job. First off, SEMA just rocks, doesn't it? Yeah, baby. Get it up. All right, SEMA Garage is a brand new facility here at SEMA Diamond Bar Headquarters. We've got a dyno. We've got a full measuring system area. We've got lots of fun stuff. The marketing code, lots of stuff to help our members develop new products. And we're bringing all the newest model vehicles in that you'll see here next year. So thank you, Joe. 
Hey Mike, one thing. A lot of people were asking me what vehicles were recently in that garage and which, which ones you have coming back. Did any get stimulated from inside the halls? Yeah, absolutely. We got the new 14 Corvette coming in. We're doing supercharger work already. We're doing a lot of suspension work. Lots of really hot stuff. Okay, so Mike, what's the deal with the Corvette? Tell us what's going on. Well, we have a lot of people asking me what vehicles are coming back. Well, we have a new 14 Corvette coming in. We're doing supercharger work already. We're doing a lot of suspension work. Lots of really hot stuff. Okay, so I know that when you work with the guys from the Chevrolet, we pick up the phone, we say, hey guys, we got the Corvette coming out. They're giving us the Corvette in advance. We're getting that into the aftermarket so these guys can... Poor guy. Okay, good. You just take it all, baby. It's all good. We'll see you that night. Is that Boston? You think of it like the 70s? Flashback? Is that Boston? Living the dream, baby. Look at you. Living the dream. Can't even get a smile out of you. So happy. Come around and just do it. They know it's for the line of the line. I haven't seen that. How cool. Reminds me of those old lines on those old low pods. You know the old 340? Or AAR 440. Now they're doing that, right? Now they're taking all the new stuff underneath and putting the old bodies on top of them. See that? Yeah, that's cool. That's working. That was a big part of what was happening inside. All right. I like these old boxes. Late 60s. Like getting 100 miles an hour, loving every minute of it. He's still doing it. He wishes he had one when he was a kid. No hair, but he's still having fun. See him at night. Yeah. Oh, there he is. That's my guy. Oh, hey, how about restylers in the city? Hey, how about the poor restylers? How about it, Doug? This one's gonna look cool because he's adding seats. And he's adding interior trip. He's making sure the new seat's got a heater. And he's doing a little cosmetic paint work. And a little sparrow work. And he's doing it in the right way. He's doing it in the wrong way. Alright? Okay. That freestyling segment of our show. You saw what was happening inside. Hey, look, it may not be Chip Boos television show cars. There's got to be pretty special construction hundreds of people's cars making them from stock, whatever is uh, custom cruises. Because these stylers like them, they make it happen. They're at the SEMA. They could be somewhere else, but they're not. Yep. They're here at the SEMA show. They're good from this community. It only takes that. All stopping us. Talk to somebody about their car, their parts. There we go. On the cruise, Chevy's been a big sponsor. That he built the cruise to kick off the first cruise. And everybody else, like Chevrolet, probably called him the day before and said, make something happen. And you know, we try. And he does. He's here. He's a bad Corvette. You owe me $20 from last year. And I'm glad to see you, baby. How was the Cena show? We helped you out with this car. You did a good job, and I know you haven't slept in how many days? 24 more to go, and you're paying for dinner tonight, too. Tommy Gates, another one. He's one of the new guys that just wanted his at the Seymour, and he's getting it. Again, these big trucks. I usually get like buck to run over. I almost broke the
We had so much fun. I wish you luck. Thank you for coming. Thank you all for coming. You may be at the end now, but you're the beginning of what's coming. This crew, who don't help in the support of all of our sponsors, and guys like Jeff who help us along with the whole team from Convex, all the folks in the United States, guys behind the scenes who make all this happen, thank you. Something really cool. And Ford brought that, and we appreciate that. And that's why you see so many of those Fords, whether they're the trucks, the F 150s, C 50s, the 350s, literally the show floor. Well, I'm starting to think twice about that. It's so nice. Maybe some of you guys saw I wanted to get one of those new Camaros. I saw enough of those new Camaros here to make me want one of those too. I saw that, didn't quite feel like I had to have that, but I sure saw enough Corvettes that I wanted to have. You saw probably all wheel drive in the Dallas Air Force Road. How about the cars with the BMW showing out there? Stockholm, boy, you know, yeah, orange ones now, and maybe blue ones. I love a BMW. I got a BMW somewhere, too. You guys should see some of that. And we did see a lot of that. We saw some Porsche action, too. Our aftermarket picks cars like that, picks them up. There you go. Coming from that bike right behind me. That's good. How you doing, baby? Come on over. Come on. It's a little bit of a special level. What's your name? What's your deal with the bike, Billy? Oh, Billy, you gotta do better than that. You built this thing, huh? So you, if you have a bike that you have to built for you rather than riding it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You must have a pretty talented young nephew. Yes, I do. He's driving the uh, Dodge truck. Ah, he's really smart enough to be driving the Dodge truck and letting you ride the bike. Well, I'll tell you what, man. He's the first bike I've seen in the world coming. Tell your nephew, good job. Well, all right. So you have bikes too, huh? I'll take them all. No scooters. I ain't playing that. 
No, no scooters. I'm getting those mini bikes. You know, I'm still fixing that mini bike. Dude. Joe's mini bike community is out top for more. Anyway, so, we're into the night. So my wife says, you're there for 10 days, kind of just doing some little stuff. And you're going to be gone. Having a lot of fun, aren't you? And I said, yeah. She said, well, have fun. I know all that talk is a big lie. And I know you have some really important, cool things to do. And I do. And I love it. And I'm thankful for I can't wait to get home like any of you. But it ain't over yet. There we go. Man, that deer is going to be mad when that lease is over. where you can put the payment book. It's about this big. How was the scene show for you? Tell me a little bit about the car. When do you have to have it back? All right, they're all here. We're rolling out, it's fluid. These guys are from Savini Wheel. Another one of the trend-setting wheel companies. They come out and show you where it's at. In the in the Luxury car market. These guys are on low. Nice job, Sabini. Thank you for all your support. Bringing out some great product. It's eye candy. You're not buying wheels. I'm just buying a watch. And look what they do for the car. We talked about all the wheel companies. We talked about Giovanna Wheels. Keep going all the support. He's giving the show. We've got all the wheel companies here. NHT. All turns. All been here. Center line wheels is walking around. We've got everything at this show. That's why I don't want it to end. All right, here we go. We got a little bit. Let's see what it is. Sport.com. All right. This is one of the things I was talking about, remember? This truck guy. All right, so they get this truck, and then we put like a truck on top of it. And then they put a house in there like Duck Dynasty. But this stuff beats Duck Dynasty to me. Look, have a good time. You know, pick what you want to do this weekend. He's the winner of the new products within the CV Show 2013. It's recaps.com. I don't know. It's one of the important to bring this guy with me because you're going to need him. Yeah, baby. Mustang's rocking it. Here at the CV Show, riding the road the CV Show. This is driving all the cool cars. There you go. Yep, I swear. I don't know what it was. Yeah, nice and slow. There we go. Yeah, baby. Mustangs, all different shapes and sizes, right? There we go. Yeah. All right. You are not going to see another car like that. Woo! I'm going to try to get some facts on some things.